how much of it, Mark's talking about your, I guess, uh, commitment to rehab and all that kind of stuff. How much have you started doing uh, over the off season? Yeah, we're just getting into a routine for the season. Um, you know, I'm getting with our uh, trainer every day before we uh, get out there and start going and uh, just going through a little uh, three or four stretches and he stretches out my shoulder. So we're just getting in a routine. How much of a mental uh, hurdle is this, Hop? Knowing that you know you can prepare yourself as much, but you can't help a back. You can't help something that might happen out there on the field. Yeah, you just got to control what you control. I mean, I'm uh, I'm confident. I'm not. I'm a, I'm gonna play 60 plus games this year, um, and that's all that really matters to me is that I've put the work in and I'm just ready to get going. Back feels fine. Yeah, everything feels fine. And that was a vertebrae. Yeah, L3. Um, like fractured my L3. I don't know the exact date, but and I don't even know what happened. It just kind of happened over time, I think. Did you have to dial back some of your swings? Oh, yeah. Cage and all? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm not even allowed to hit off the machine. Uh, I'm, I've taken probably 30, 30 swings off the machine when everyone else has probably taken over a 1,000. I mean, I just kind of dialed it back. I've Hitting off the tee, getting loose, then just going in straight to BP and, you know, just stretching a lot more and taking a lot less swings. Any way to quantify that for, for those of us who are just not familiar with your routine? I mean, were you taking 100 a week before and now you're taking? I was taking, I was taking like 300 a day. I mean, I've always, you know, hit a lot. Um, but as I've gotten older, I've kind of realized that, you know, that's not the way to go about it. Um, you know, I've just kind of been – going with it and my swing feels better than ever so I'm just I'm happy that I've realized my my routine and going about it that now that way so how many swings will you take during the season now outside of games um do you have a number do you have a st is there a do you have, are you on a pitch count for lack of a better word yeah I mean coach Shinks has always got his eye on me uh but I mean I've just I don't know an exact number but not much and you still feel comfortable. You still feel like you're seeing the ball well. The swing mm -hmm. is fine. Yeah, my swing feels better than ever. What are your expectations of yourself? You stay healthy. You play those 60-plus games. What do you think you're capable of? Uh, you know, I I haven't even really thought about it. I don't I don't think about stuff that kind of way. I, you know, I'm just so excited to get going that I really I really don't set goals. I just want to be healthy all season and uh, help this team win as much as I can. How frustrating was last year? It was frustrating, but I'm. You know, looking back at it now, I learned a lot, and I'm just, I'm just happy that we, uh, you know, we got as far as we did, and with the season we had, it was, it was really fun to be a part of. Was there a bad moment? Was there a moment that you remember that was the low point that you felt like, all right, you know, you got that out of your system, and you've been moving up since then, mentally at least. I mean, yeah, I, when I found out that my back was fractured, you know, that you get kind of low, but I, I didn't really let any other anybody see how upset or mad I was. I just kind of came to the park as I usually do, just, you know, talk to everybody and just be a good teammate. Who diagnosed you? Um, I can't even remember. It was, you know, I don't USC even. USC guys or do you oh, yeah, it was, else? I it was, somebody in the program. Yeah, it was the USC. The doctor's a part of USC, so.